Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Web designers and marketers, in today's tutorial, we'll be exploring a powerful integration that can enhance your email marketing efforts, which is connecting MailChimp with Webflow. By integrating these two platforms, you can seamlessly capture leads on your Webflow site and automatically add them to your MailChimp subscribers list. In this video, we'll guide you through the process of connecting MailChimp with Webflow in just a few simple steps. So, let's dive in. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Brave Browser, but of course in your case you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, whatever preferred browser you have, simply go and type MailChimp and dot .com of course and hit the enter button. That will take you to the home screen or main screen of MailChimp. So you'll have to simply set up your account. So if you have an account, log into it. If you don't, click on Start Frame Trial and follow the prompts to create your account. For me, I already have an account as an example. So simply uh, just go do this and click on Login. And as you can see, you will find my account right here. So simply I'll do it later. And as you can see, I'll find myself on the dashboard of MailChimp right away. Of course, Make sure to familiarize yourself with the MailChimp dashboard and the basic features it offers for, of, of course, for managing email campaigns and subscribers. So make sure that you are familiarized with that. And then you'll have to create subscribers lists in MailChimp. Of course, you can do that if you go to the audience and click on all contacts here. And for me, as you can see, you'll find I already have a subscribers list here. And of course, you can simply just go and export them for you if you want to create ones and just upload a CSV file or upload the normal contacts. So simply if you click at add the contacts and add the subscriber here, as you can see from here, you'll be able to add all their information here and you'll add it as a subscriber. Of course, you can even import contacts as instead of instead of exports, I miss. I missed it when I said export. So anyway, you'll have to import from another services example or upload a file or copy or paste. Of course, as we said before, you can upload your subscribers from uh, Webflow to this uh, MailChimp as an example from here. So make sure to go here and click find more apps and integrations. And here, if you scroll down, as you can see, you'll find a lot of websites. So make sure to find uh, the Webflow. Of course, you can from here find an integration and type your web flow here as an example. Hit the enter button and you should find it. And of course, once you do all of that, of course, that's what we're not we care about. We don't care about this at the moment. Of course, let's just go back to the home screen or main screen. And of course, once we created our subscriber list, so of course, once you configure the necessary settings and custom fields in your list to collect the relevant information for your Webflow forms, you'll have to generate an API key in MailChimp. So to connect MailChimp and Webflow, you'll need an API key. In your MailChimp account, go to settings here on this list panel. As you can see here, or sorry, you don't have to go to this list panel, go to your account at the top right corner, click on profile, and that should take you here. Go to extras and click on API keys. And here you will find your API key. So make sure to just create a client key or just generate your API key by creating a key from here. Once you do that, of course, uh, you will be able, of course, you can, you will, you should, first of all, generate a new API key or use an existing one if you already have it and copy it to your clipboard. Then head over to Webflow. So just go to Webflow as an example, dot com and hit the enter button of course if you have an account make sure to log in into it and if you don't make sure to go and click click on get started to be prompt to create your account and then go to the designer editor as an example and here let's just wait of course webflow will require you if you want to integrate with anything will require you to have a plan so make sure to have this it's simply you can here paste your the mailchimp api key you copied into the provided field and click connect webflow will establish a connection with MailChimp. And of course, if you, you can even use university, open a new tab and type university.webflow.com and hit the enter button. Once you are here, go to more, go to integrations and here make sure to uh, look for MailChimp. Sorry, MailChimp. 
And as you can see here, email marketing, automation, targeting, and segmentation, A, B, and testing, and team features. And of course, there's the form. So let's just choose this. And as you can see, once you click on view website, they will take you to log in into your account. You can even view listen on how to connect it if you are uh, if you don't know what to do of course you'll find here everything you you want to know so as you can see all the steps that i showed you that's all right that i told you you'll find this here with more specific details if you want and you can even as we said do everything from here so of course you will ask me okay for then what is this for of course uh, this will be kind of the same but this is just for forms as you can see here you will have to Follow this video or you can follow what's said here. So grab the action URL for MailChimp, configure your form to send emails to your MailChimp list. And before you get started with the tutorial, if you haven't already created a MailChimp account, do that. As we said, ensure you have a form on your page as we did. Ensure that there is a, at least one input field sets required with the name, sets email and the text type sets to email. And of course, make sure to follow the other steps. As you can see, grab the action URL. So in MailChimp dashboard, access your list. Go into you. You want to connect the form. Copy the embedded code form. Then from the sign up, this is as we said, just for the forms. But for you, you'll have to get your API key and just come back to Webflow. And as I said, if you go like as an example for settings and to custom code to edit, you'll not be able to unless you add a plan or a size plan. Of course, if you click on it, you'll have to go and get one of their plans, the standard, the plus or advanced, all of them will work. Because as you can see, this will get you like 500 e-commerce items and true percent transaction fee in all CMS plan features, which including this custom code. And of course, the plus will get you more e-commerce items, zero transaction fee in all business plan features. And this will get you all business trans features with more e-commerce items here you can compare between the plans as an example if you want to and you can even upgrade right now if you want you'll have just simply uh, provide them with your payments informations and you will be good to go then you'll be able to configure the webflow forms to capture lead once you add it once you add the custom code and you'll be good to go so if you reach this place congratulations you've successfully connected your mailchimp with webflow allowing you to effortlessly effortlessly sorry capture leads from your webflow forms and add them to your mailchimp subscriber list this integration seems easy and it might require a bit of a lot of steps but as i said everything will be clear here and of course this integration streamline your email marketing effort and ensuring you can effectively engage with your audience and deliver targeted campaigns remember to regularly review and optimize your email marketing strategy to maximize the results if you found uh, this tutorial helpful be sure to subscribe to our channel for more web fan info and marketing tips thanks for watching and happy integrating mailchimp with webflow and i will see you in the next one